The following video will examine what a no solution answer looks like for a system of inequalities in three variables. So we have this system, negative 4x minus 2y minus z equals 15, 12x plus 6y plus 3z equals 45, and 2x plus 5y plus 7z equals negative 29. So remember, we said before that when you have a system of equations in three variables, to remember just this little phrase, you have three equations. You have three variables. Now, we're going to try and see if we can do elimination three times. I mean, that's how you need to approach each problem. Now, we're going to see in the no solution example, you're not going to be able to get to most likely three eliminations because something's going to happen in the process. But this at least shows us the way to approach each problem. And so when we look at this, we want to decide which variable do we want to eliminate. Do I want to eliminate x? Uh, if so, how am I going to pair them together? I see 2 and 12. I see 2 and negative 4. So I guess I could pair the first equation and the third equation together since 4 is a multiple of 2. And I can pair the first and the second equation together since 12 is a multiple of 4. So there's one option. If I look at the y's, 2, 6, 5, this one might involve a little work because all three, I don't see, I see a multiple in common here, but not really here or with the first and third. But the one that stands out to me is the z variable. And the reason why is because I have a negative one here. So that means I can pair this one up with the three. I'm multiplying the top one by three and I can pair this one up with the seven by multiplying the top one by seven. So to me, this is a little bit easier. You're only multiplying to negative one. So it's not hard multiplication to go from there. So I'm going to pair them up this way. I'm going to pair the top equation first equation with the middle equation by multiplying it by 3. So I can get the opposite. This is a 3z. That will give me a negative 3z. And I'm going to multiply the top equation. I have a 7z. I have one negative 7z here. So I'm going to multiply it by a positive 7 since it's already a negative. So that's how I'm going to pair them together. So let's start first with the blue one with multiplying the top equation by 3. So I have my top equation. And what this is going to do is it is going to eliminate. So we have step 1, we are going to eliminate the z variable. And so again, I'm going to color code it so we can make sure we follow our steps. You know, we have negative 4x minus 2y minus z equals 15. The second equation, you have 12x plus 6y plus 3z equals 45. Now, remember I say organizing your work is really important in taking your time. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3. And that's going to make this a negative 3z. So let's see what happens when I do that. So I get negative 12x, 3 times negative 2, I get minus 6y. 3 times negative 1 is my minus 3z. And then 3 times 15 is 45. The bottom equation, we didn't do anything to, so I keep it as is. I get 12x plus 6y plus 3z equals 45. So I see I have my opposites, negative 3z and 3z. So that means I'm going to add vertically. And what that's going to do is it's going to cancel out my negative 3z and my 3z. But look at this, negative 12x and 12x, that's going to cancel out as well negative 6y and 6y, that's going to cancel out as well. So I'm left with just 0. Everything canceled. And then 45 
remember you're adding plus 45 is 90. And so this statement says 0 equals 90, which we know is a false statement. 0 can never equal 90. And remember, if we ever have all variables eliminate and a false statement, then that means we have no solution for our answer. All the variables are gone. There's no way to solve for it. We get a false statement from it. So it is a no solution answer. So though I said in the beginning, you know, we like to remember the phrase three equations, three variables. You know, if you're going to be able to solve it, you're probably going to do elimination three times. So when I approached it using this same idea of trying to pair together the equations and eliminate one of the variables, what happened as soon as I did that was every single variable got eliminated. And so we know that zero does not equal 90. So it's a false statement, which means no solution. So if you ever have all the variables, it might happen in step two, might happen in step three. But when you have all the variables eliminate and you just get a statement that's false, we have an example of a no solution to a system of equations in three variables.